And awesome, awesome. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to today's Monday Morning Millionaire Mindset Call. Let me just go outside, actually, because it's so beautiful outside. It's a uh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous day. And um, just going to come outside while I stream live. First time I'm doing this, streaming live while I'm doing the call. So this is something that I'm going to be doing on a regular mm -hmm. basis so that mm -hmm. I can invite as many people as possible to these calls. So, you know, some people can't dial in. They'll tell me, I, I get many, many messages saying, Danielle, I can't dial in from the phone. I don't know why. I don't know why, you know, but I'm trying to accommodate as many people as possible so that you guys can get on these calls and so you guys can listen in and hear, you know, the words that, that, that come to me, the things that come to me so I can help you guys to win and help you to um you know build a successful business on the internet so once again welcome i'm going to start out this call with some positive affirmations guys this is something that i'm going to start doing i'm um, giving you some positive affirmations so that you can start to understand that it takes more than just skills uh to build a business it takes more than just some you know traffic everybody's selling traffic right traffic how to get leads and all that stuff everybody's selling that stuff but what i'm what i want you to understand is to how to do the inner work and today on this call that's what i'm going to be talking about how to do the inner work so every morning uh you know we're going to be doing some affirmations you can listen in and at some point you're going to understand these affirmations and you're going to you know probably recite them uh, by memory you know and these are some affirmations that's in my in my journal that I bought it's a great journal it's a journal it's a calendar it's a beautiful beautiful book that teaches you and shows you how to um, you know manifest your, your dream life basically um, and many of you know that I've been building my business on the internet for three years it's been about three years July May three mark three years that I was first introduced to the internet first like never never made money online before never even knew anything about leads capture pages um, traffic. I didn't. I didn't know anything about any of that. All I knew was that I wanted to be home with my kids. And at the time in my life, I was a mess. I was a broke, broken down. Um, you know, uh, just just not living my passion. Nothing in my life uh, seemed to be going my way. Nothing in my life seemed to be uh, the. Um, you know, the life that I thought that I was going to live when I became older. You know, being in debt. Um, it was working a job, you know, and there's nothing wrong working a job, guys. I know I talk about working a job a lot, but it's only because I'm an entrepreneur now. And I know I've been working since I was 15 years old. So I know what it's like to, to work a job. I know what it's like to, um, you know, to, to spend your days and your years and your months waiting for the next vacation, uh, wait, the next vacation day or, you know, then that, um, vacation week, taking a day off. I know what it's like hustling and bustling in traffic. I know what it's like trying to climb up the corporate ladder. I did all that stuff. I did it. I started from the bottom. I worked my way up. You know, I started as a teacher's assistant. I worked my way up to become the teacher. And it, it, all of that stuff, that status didn't matter to me. What mattered to me was living my life and so that I could be home with my kids. And not just be home scrounging and scrimping for money, but being home, living a purposeful life, helping other people and making money. That's what, to me, what life is all about. So um, I'm going to start out with some affirmations and uh, you guys can listen in and hopefully these affirmations will resonate with you. This is something that I've been saying every day. I've, I've always created affirmations for myself, um, but now I got some affirmations that's actually like listed out, right? Listed out. And, um, and some of you are watching me on, on, on uh, Facebook live and I'm like, I got, you know, my hair's in a ponytail. I'm, I'm going to do my exercise after after this um, Facebook Live. So my hair's in a ponytail. I got on my workout clothes, right? And so this is something that I want you all to understand. You gotta do the inner work. So let's just get started with the affirmations. I love, I love unconditionally and I enjoy my life. I let go of all attachments and set myself free. I envision my life in perfect bliss. I love my freedom. I give and receive with an open heart. More and more good things are coming to me. I love my life. I live in joy 
joy and peace. Money comes to me easily, easily and effortlessly. Every day and in every way, I feel more joy and peace. Every day and in every way, I feel healthier and richer, more successful and loved. I love that the past has no power over me anymore. Every day and in every way, I am getting better and better. I follow my heart and my dreams no matter what. I am deeply fulfilled with who I am. I let go easily and I see the light in me. I accept and let go. I trust all is well. I choose to see the light that I am to this world. I compare myself to no one. I focus on progress and I decide to let go of perfection. I am patient with myself and with others. I give up the habit of criticizing myself. I let go easily. All is well. I take 100% responsibility for my life. I draw from my inner strength and light. I trust myself and I make the right choices. I trust my inner wisdom and intuition. I press on because I believe in my path. So these are some, these are the affirmations that I, I, I speak out loud every day. Like I said, I have them written down here and this is, these would be the affirmations that I'm going to be putting on this, on this call every week when we come on, because I want you guys to understand that once you do the inner work, when you understand that you can, uh, you know, you can basically let go and let God, a lot of things will start to manifest in your life that, uh, you didn't even know was possible, especially when we become entrepreneurs for some reason. And I, and I was guilty of this myself. We tend to try to make things work. It seems like it's so hard to become an entrepreneur. It's so hard to, you know, make that first, whatever, that first dollar, $10, $100, $1,000, $10,000. It's just so hard to do that. And the only reason it's hard is because we don't know how to trust ourselves. You know, when we have, when we go to get a job, we, we, it's so easy to put on our resume or sit in front of the, you know, the employer and tell her, tell him or her how responsible we are, how punctual we are, you know how much of an action taker we are we literally sell ourselves when we get a job but when we come into the entrepreneur space something becomes deficient we lack it's like we don't even understand who we are anymore and, and most people say well I can't do that I don't know how to do that um, you know I, I, that, you know running a business is for you know it's for people who are, are um, you know who, who who know about this kind of stuff you got to be smart to do that kind of stuff I'm not that smart enough I'm not that um, you know I'm not that that uh, intelligent enough I, I'm not computer savvy all those things that we tell ourselves to kind of move us away from entrepreneurship but what I want to tell you today while you're listening to this call is that God wants you to be successful. He wants you to have, you know, um, abundance and prosperity. And, you know, whether you believe in God, the universe, a higher power, whatever, you know, this is not about religion or anything like that. It's about you stepping into who you were created to be. And I believe that we all were created to do something great. And you're on this call because you want to know how to live your best life. You want to know how to live your purpose. You want to know how to step into that entrepreneurship role, right? So in order for you to do that, you got to do the inner work. And you have to strengthen yourself. You have to strengthen yourself and believe in yourself. You got to believe that you can do this. You got to believe that you're on the right path. You got to believe this stuff. Because if you believe all the, all the, uh, you know the negative stuff then guess what then you're gonna you're gonna act like this stuff that you're believing right so if you believe oh I don't know I don't understand this stuff then guess what you're always gonna feel confused if you believe oh I don't have the the ability to 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 know how to do all this stuff on the internet then guess what then you're never gonna learn it it's gonna feel intimidating it's gonna feel overwhelming so what I want to tell you today is that you got to do the inner work. The inner work is more important than the outer work. The outer work meaning, you know, how to drive traffic, how to, you know, blog, how to, um, you know, generate leads and all that stuff. That's the outer work. That's the, that's the outer stuff. You got to do the inner stuff first because if you don't do the inner stuff, if you don't empower yourself, if you don't wake up and like, you know, exercise mm -hmm. and drink mm -hmm. more water and, um, you know, just do all the things that you need to do 
take time to, um, you know, to get in touch with your spiritual side and things like that, then you're not going to feel empowered if you're not listening to motivational, um, you know, motivational teachers, motivational speakers, people who can empower you, people who can, can, um, can relate to your situation, then you're always going to feel neglected. You're going to feel alone and you're going to feel like I can't do this. So, this is why I made these calls. This is why I created these Monday morning millionaire mindset calls. Because I want to empower the person who's feeling a little bit disempowered. I want to empower the person who wants to move forward but just don't know how. So, you know, I'm going to give you my tools, my tips, my strategies, everything that I have to encourage you and to inspire you and to empower you to let you know that you can do this. You're no different than I am. When I first started online three years ago, I knew nothing. I didn't even have a Facebook page. The only thing that was on my Facebook book was my um friends and family and my co-workers um I didn't have a blog I didn't even know about a blog I remember my sister telling me well Danielle if you want to start a business then you need a blog I was like yeah I heard about those things what is that like I didn't even know what a blog mm -hmm. was you know so I didn't know this stuff I didn't know how to generate leads I didn't I didn't know what a lead was I didn't know what a capture page was and that's why I like to talk to the beginners who didn't know this stuff and now you know I teach Shopify strategies I teach online marketing I teach all that stuff and it's a miracle it's crazy that just three years ago I didn't even know what shop I just just eight months ago I didn't even know what Shopify was and now I'm teaching people how to make thousands of dollars with Shopify so let me tell you something if you're willing to learn this stuff and you're willing to dive in maybe stay up a little late get up a little earlier you can do this you can do it it's not hard it's not rocket science but it takes work it does. It's, it's not going to just fall into your lap. But I'm going to tell you, it takes the inner work more than the outer work. It takes you reading the books. It takes you writing down your goals. As I'm, as I'm saying that, I'm showing the Facebook Live the stuff that I do on a daily basis. Writing down my goals. Writing down the things that I want to experience. How I want to show up in life. How I want to show up in my business. These are the things you have to do on a daily basis. And it's daily. It's not sometimes, it's not when you feel like it. It's, it's literally daily, daily work, daily, daily, daily. Putting food, good food, just like how you gotta put good food in your body, you gotta put good food in your mind. You gotta put, you gotta speak your life into existence. You gotta write down your goals. Some of you know my story from when I talk about those days when I used to be crying, sitting in my car, you know, journaling and meditating and praying and asking God, which way should I go? Because I want a new life. <laughs> basically, that's what, basically, that's what I was saying. I wanted a new life. I was tired of living a life that wasn't true to who I was. Yes, I loved the kids working in special education, but I didn't like the system. I didn't like it. And I, I, and I felt, you know, as if I was trapped. I felt trapped. I felt in, like I was in a situation that I couldn't get out of because the money wasn't there. The debt was there. I didn't have all that stuff that most people, you know, think you need to have to build a business. One of the things that I always hear is, Danielle, I don't have the money. Who does? Who does? But guess what I did? I cut off the cable bill. I stopped going out to eat. I started, uh, I started finding little things around the house that I could sell so that I could build my business. So if you're serious, if you're really, really serious, you will make a way. But you can't make an excuse and make a way at the same time. It's just those two energies can't exist, coexist together. You got to either make, make a, 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 you know, make a conscious decision and go forward or continue to tell yourself the excuses and um, believe those things. But you can't do both because there's going to be a conflict and you'll never move forward. So if you truly want to move forward, guys, if you truly want to live the life that you that you feel you were meant to live, you're going to have to make some tough decisions. You're going to have to understand that you can't continue to be the same and grow at the same time. You got to you got to understand that you're going to have to do some things differently. You're going to have to show up in your life differently. You may have to, you know, get some people out of your life. You're going to have to bring some people into your life. You're going to have to, you know, um, I always talk about these mentors and coaches. You're going to have to do it. You're going to have to invest in yourself. You're going to have to buy the books. You're going to have to listen to the to the audios. You're going to have to do those things. And I mean on a daily basis. Not when you're feeling good, not when you, you know, on a cloud nine today and then tomorrow you're feeling like crap and you, you just don't want to be bothered. No, 
you are literally going to have to invite good things into your life. Start eating healthier. I know I keep talking about this health club that I'm going to be starting. As a matter of fact, today I'm going to make the Facebook page about it. I'm going to um, I'm going to start incorporating this health club that I'm. Uh, it's going to be called um, um, I'm committed. I'm committed to fitness. That's what it's going to be called. And so I want you guys to understand. I'm not just here to help you generate leads and make sales, whether it's on Shopify or four percent or whatever. You know, I mean, because I do all that stuff. I make money from all these different entities, right? But I'm here to help you understand that you have to become aware, aware of who you are, aware of the, the, the things that you're thinking about, aware of what you're speaking into your life. Sometimes people speak negativity in their lives and they don't even realize it. I hear people say, oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm such an idiot. I'm like, no, don't say those things about yourself. Speak positive words to yourself. You know, you, you don't, we don't even realize that the tongue can either bless us or curse us. So, and, and the tongue starts with you. So if you're feeling that you're an idiot or stupid or things like that, you're literally speaking, you know, uh, darkness over yourself. How can you speak life and enlightenment to somebody else? I'm here, guys, to help you see the light. I'm here to help enlighten you to the fact that there's a lot of gurus out there. And I say, I'm not a guru. I'm not. I'm just a mom who, you know, have made some mistakes along the way, who, tr you know, just tr try to, try to um, you know, build a life for herself and her kids. And at the same time, I stumbled upon something. I didn't really stumble upon it. I feel like I, I attracted into the, into my life. I attracted a home business into my life. I attracted it three years ago and it took me quite a few months to understand the process. It took me quite a few months to understand like even though I made some money at first and then I didn't understand how to make it again and like I felt over I, I had all those problems. I had all those those issues, those challenges in my head, in my mind, in my spirit, in my heart. I didn't understand half the stuff but I didn't I didn't try to understand it. After a while I was like let me let go and let God. This person, my mentor, my coach said I need to do this. Let me just do it. I don't have to understand how it all works. Eventually you will. You'll understand it all. But at the at the time where you're right now, you're a baby. A baby doesn't even understand how to walk. They just know, okay, I get up. My legs can kind of hold me up. I'm going to walk. They don't even understand what the word walk means, right? So some of you want to understand the whole entire process before you even make a decision, before you go forward. Stop trying to figure everything out. You're not going to learn all this stuff. That's like you're trying to understand every single part of a, of, a, of a vehicle before you get in behind the wheel and drive. No, all you need to know is that you need to put in the ignition. As long as the car has passed inspection and it drives perfectly and it has no issues, it's not going to blow up, right? All you need to know is to put in the, 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 the key in the ignition and uh, turn the key. Make sure you can see, you know, outside, right? Because you do need to have a goal, right? You need to, you have, you need to fix your mirrors, Fix your mirrors. Fix your perception, basically. That's what driving a car is like. So is having a home business. You need to fix your perception. Your perception of the outside world. When you're driving a car, basically you are fixing your mirrors to, to align yourself with the perception of the outside world. Why? Because you could be going forward. But let me tell you something. There could be some crazy drivers on the road. And if you don't see what's going on, you are going to crash. Same thing in your life and in your business. If you are not focusing, uh, if you're just focusing on, oh my gosh, you know, I don't know how to generate leads. Me, 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 me. No, you need to focus on the outside. How can I help others? What is it that I need to give to others? How can I show my contribution, contribution to my business, to the world? How can I do that? Because your business is about what you can bring. But if you are in a car that has not passed inspection, if you're in a car that doesn't have any rear view mirrors, any side view mirrors, if your car doesn't, you know, is leaking transmission fluid and your car is about to blow up because you are your car, you are your vehicle, you are your business, then guess what? You're going to be a disaster on the road. Okay? You're going to be a disaster. So you want to fix up yourself first. Read those books. I, I have, a, I have my uh, success blueprint. You can go to DanielleKHowell.com. Get my five-step success blueprint. I have 30 books, 30 of them, 30 books that I recommend everybody should read if you want to become successful. 30. 
So, you know, there's no excuse for like, I don't know which book to read. Well, get my success, get my, my five step success blueprint at daniellekhowell.com. And you will be taken to a link that will give you a list of 30 of my recommended reading uh, that's going to help propel you to success. Um, so you can't be a walking disaster and expect to be a, a millionaire. You can't be a walking disaster and expect to become a six figure earner in this space. You can't. You have to do the inner work, the inner work that's required. And it's every single day, every single day, day in and day out. I wake up. You guys, if you follow me on Facebook, you know what my daily, uh, my daily uh, days consist of. I pray, I meditate, I, I, I get in tune with, with, with who I'm supposed to be, what, who God created me to be. I get in tune, I ask questions. What am I here for? What, what is it that I'm, I'm here to do today? How can I touch somebody? How can I help somebody? How can I show up as the best version of myself, as the leader that I was destined to become, as the, as the, as the inspirer that, that, I was, that I was called to become? You all have a special gift. You all have a special gift and a special purpose, but you have to tap into it. I can't tell you what it is. I can't tell you what it is. But if you don't take time, you know, if, if it's just for 10 minutes to sit down and tune in, then you'll never figure it out. I do this every day, exercising, right? Exercising. You guys see me exercising, drinking lots of water, drinking my, you know, my shakes, my, my juices. Why? Because I want to cleanse out my body so that I can be the best version of myself so that I can show up as for everyone who's following me, who wants to hear a message, who wants to become an entrepreneur, who wants to be successful, who wants to make money from home, who wants to be with their kids, who, who's tired of struggling, who's tired of the debt, who's tired of feeling overwhelmed. That's who I'm here for because that was me. That was me three years ago. I was all those things. And now I've learned how to become a better version of myself. And I've learned how to help you become a better version of yourself. But it takes dedication. It's not easy. It's not something that happens overnight. But when you become the best version of yourself, that's when the money comes. Some of you want the money before you even can fix yourself. If you have the same scarcity mindset, if you have the same employee mindset, if mm -hmm. you're still talking mm -hmm. you know, negativity over your life, then you're not gonna you're not gonna manifest and attract goodness. You're gonna attract the same stuff over and over and over again. And that's what my mentors call insanity. Doing the same things over and over and over again and expecting a different, more prosperous result. It's just not gonna happen. It doesn't happen that way. So we gotta stop kidding ourselves. We gotta stop living a lie. We gotta start really living our truth. It's time to start living your truth, guys. It's time to start putting things aside that don't serve you. It's time. It's time to start living life on purpose, laughing more, trusting more, being more, showing up as the best version of yourself. And that takes discipline. And it's hard. That's probably the hardest thing to do. But I'm telling you, when you do it, you'll attract the right people into your life. But when you're still living the same way, you're going to attract the same old challenges, the same old problems. And you're going to be like, why do I keep that? Why does this keep happening to me? Why does that keep happening to me? It's not it's not happening to you. It's happening because of you. It's because of who you are. You're attracting the same type of people. So when you start to tune in and when you start to listen to people who have gone through where you've been, who have, who have accomplished more, who want more for themselves, who are living their best life, who's striving every single day to live a better version of themselves, then as you listen to them and as you model them, better things will attract to you because that's what I did. That's exactly what I did. And I continue to do that. I didn't just do it once. I always tune into my mentors, my coaches. I listen to them. I watch them. I model them. I learn from them. And I show up as my best version, right? I show up so that I can give who I am because my mentors have their own gifts. I have my own gifts. You have your own gifts, okay? So as I, as I close out this call today, I want you to think about your affirmations, right? Your affirmations. I'm going to speak them again before I end this call. Think about who you are. Affirm who you are positively. Mm -hmm. Forget about the negativity. Forget about being overworked, overwhelmed, stressed out, and tired. Forget about that. Do better because you can. You're not a child. Do better right? Do better for yourself. Do better for your, for humanity. 
Do better for your children. Do better because you deserve better. And you can do it. Is it hard? Yes. I'm not going to sit here and say it's easy. D- the easy things to do are the, uh, is what everybody else is doing. But if you want to have a millionaire mindset, you want to build a millionaire business, you got to do the hard stuff. And the hard stuff starts inside. It starts inside. And then when you start to move inside, everything around you will start to beautify I'm telling you guys, I'm, t- I'm telling you this because I, I'm living it. I don't tell you anything that I haven't experienced myself. Doing the hard stuff is hard. It may bring tears. It, it will bring tears. It'll bring tears. It's going to bring fear. It's going to bring up all of those underlying issues that you don't want to face. Your dark side. It's going to bring it to the surface. It's going to bring it to the surface. But I challenge you, if you want to do more, if you want to have more money, you want to be more successful, you want to live a more prosperous life, you want to live in abundance, you want, you're tired of struggling, you want to pay off those debts, maybe you want to relocate, maybe you want to move, maybe you want, you want a better relationship. If you want to those things, you got to work on yourself. No, it's nobody else's fault. We could blame other people all day long. We could blame the, we could blame society. We could blame the government. We could blame our ex-spouses, our ex-boyfriends, girlfriends. We could blame, we could blame the, our children. We could blame whoever we want. But I remember my, my, one of my mentors, Jim Rohn said, mm-hmm. we tend to blame people, right? But wherever we go, there we are. <laughs> Isn't that something? How come all the drama? All the challenges, all the frustration always happens around us. Think about that. Wherever you go, there you are. So if you, if everything's coming back to you, whether it's from this person or that person or this entity or that corporation or this or that job, whatever's coming at you, there you are. It's you. You're attracting that energy. So it's something within you. Our life it's just one big mirror. We mirror, or I should say, people in our lives mirror who we are deep down inside. And that's a, a hard pill to swallow, even for myself. Because I've come across some really, really, really bad people that done bad things to me. And I was like, wow, you know, why did this happen? Right? Why did this happen? But I had to take inventory in myself and forgive those people and say, you know what? Well, that's something in me that I need to work on. That's something in me. It's not them. They're just mirroring what's deep down inside of me. My fears, you know, my insecurities, my whatever, right? Maybe my anger, my dishonesty, whatever it is, whatever it is. That's why I'm saying now, guys, it's time to live your truth. And as I show up here every Monday and every day, pretty much, you know, on Facebook, but Monday's here on this call, which is just exclusive to you guys who are listening to this call now watching the Facebook live. I love you guys. I love you. I may not even know you personally, but I love you. I have the, I have the love of God for all of you. And I want you to succeed. I want you to taste the feeling of success. As I continue to move up the ladder of success, three years ago, I was broke and desperate. Three years later, I'm living the life that I never even thought was possible. So it doesn't take a lifetime. It just takes your commitment and your desire and your undying faith in a higher power and your discipline to become the person who you were destined to become. I'm going to leave you with that. And I'm going to read these affirmations one more time. Let me just find them. I love unconditionally and I enjoy my life. I let go of all attachments and set myself free. I envision my life in perfect bliss. I love my freedom. I give and receive with an open heart. More and more good things are coming to me. I love my life. I live in joy and peace. 
Money comes to me easily and effortlessly. Every day and in every way, I feel more and more joy and peace. Every day and in every way, I feel healthier, richer, more successful and loved. I love that the past has no power over me anymore. Every day and in every way, I get better and better. I follow my heart and my dreams no matter what. I am deeply fulfilled with who I am. I let go easily and see the light in me. I accept and let go. I trust all is well. I choose to see the light that I am to this world. I compare myself to no one. I focus on progress and decide to let go of perfection. I'm patient with myself and others. I give up the habit of criticizing myself. I let go easily. All is well. I take 100% responsibility for my life. I draw from my inner strength and light. I trust myself and make the right choices. I trust my inner wisdom and intuition. I press on because I believe in my path. I love you guys. Have a wonderful blessed day and I'll see you and I'll talk to you on the next Monday Morning Millionaire Call. Love and light. Peace.